to Hedgehog Hollow. Now today I want to do a quick video to address one of the most frequently asked questions I get by email or in one of our Facebook groups. And that is, should I buy the Cricut Maker, the Brother Scan and Cut, or the Silhouette Cameo? Now you'll notice that the Silhouette Cameo is missing from the table, and I did used to have one. In fact, I had the Cameo 2 and I had the Cameo 3, but they are no longer part of my craft space. Now I used to love my Silhouette Cameo 2. There were lots of designs available for it. It used to cut really nicely, it communicated well. Um, but the Silhouette Cameo 3 was a huge disappointment for me. And I ended up de it. In fact, I gave it to Lexi. And so she now uses it and she's cut some things for Christmas and she's enjoyed using it, but she had the same frustrations to the point that despite me giving her the Cameo 3, she actually comes to work and she uses the Cricut Maker because it's just a lot easier to use. So I'm gonna first of all just completely discount the silhouette. In my opinion, the Cricut is the Mac. They wait till things are ready and that they're really intuitive and they release it. And the silhouette is probably more of the Android who releases things. And I always think of the batteries that overheated, caught fire and weren't allowed on airplanes. And that's what I put the silhouette category into. Now I know lots of you have the silhouette, you love it. And that's fine because crafting tours are very personal. Some people are gonna love tours and other people is gonna are going to hate those same tours. So these are just my opinions from using them. And I'm gonna give you what I think of you or my opinions on them. So as I say, they are very personal and you can take my opinions with a pinch of salt or whatever you think, but I'll tell you the pros and cons of what I have found while I've been working with them. So I'm gonna instantly discount the silhouette just based on those. If there's another silhouette that comes out, I will buy it, I will play with it. And then again, you know, I'll update my opinions based on that. But I did buy a Cricut Maker, um, not this Black Friday, but the Black Friday before. And you'll have seen videos and I do love it. Do not get me wrong, I absolutely love it. There are so many attachments available for it. It is capable of so many things. It can cut really, really deep. I mean, it can cut wood. I mean, how many machines can cut wood? I think that's absolutely amazing. The software is great. It works with my iPad. It um, interacts really intuitively. Um, there's tons and tons of designs available for it. And yes, I absolutely love it. Now, the only thing I'm gonna say about it is because there are a million attachments, it can get expensive. Um, the Cricut Access costs $9.99 a month to be a part of. Um, I do that because it gives me access to so many different designs. Some people don't like that fact. You can still use your old cartridges with it. You just kind of have to import them. I only had two cartridges, so I decided that wasn't worth it for me. But yes, you can use all your old cartridges with it if you still have any. Um, but I love the fact and it works wirelessly with my iPad. So yes, it can get expensive just because there are so many attachments, but I also love that it can do so much. However, if you're a stamper like me, it cannot cut out those stamped images, which is where the scan and cut comes in. And that is why I adore my scan and cut because I worked out that a kind of coordinating die to go with a stamp set is around that kind of $15 mark. So by the time I have to not buy, say, 15 of those, I could have bought myself a scan and cut. And the scan and cut is going to cut out any stamped image you have. And it's gonna cut them out as many times as you want. If you have to make 50 cards that are all the same, think how, many, how long it would take you to die cut all of those images just with one set of dies. Well, the scan and cut can cut all of those out in about three minutes. So you could stamp a whole sheet of pixies and it can cut all of those out at once with whatever border you want. If you want it to cut on the line, it can cut on the line. If you want it to cut out with a border, it can cut out with a border. Greg's looking around because I have a really helpful cheat sheet, which is over there, Greg. It's just under the attachment and he's gonna be the really good husband. He might even get a husband point for that, <laughs> which he's celebrating. So this is like a guide that I keep by my scan and cut. So you can see it can cut on the line, it can cut me a small border, it can even cut me a big border. It can go bigger than this as well. It can also cut inside the line. Now, whilst these go in 0.04 of an inch up, when you go inside the line, it can actually cut in smaller increments. So you can cut inside the line as well. So you can do loads and loads of really, really fun things. So you can do those kind of like walk through cards by cutting inside the lines. And that's really a great reason with the Scan and Cut. The Scan and Cut also works wirelessly. And the new Scan and Cut, you don't need to buy the wireless card. It comes wireless equipped 
which is great. You can also import all of your JPEGs and you can trace those images and turn them into cut files. You can import SVG files and use it in this. It's now available for Mac and Windows, which is great because before I used to have to get Hannah to come over because I couldn't use it on Windows and that was a frustration for me. I did do a comparison between the Scan and Cut 2 and the Scan and Cut DX. Check that right hand corner now um, for that uh, video if you want to see the difference between this which is the new DX and the Scan and Cut 2 which I had before um, you can find out information on that as well but this one has auto blade a bit like the Cricut so it will detect the thickness of your material whereas the Cricut you have to tell it your material and I love the fact that this has auto blade so this I put in whatever material I want to cut it knows how deep that material is and it just cuts it so I don't have to say oh I've got glitter vinyl it knows I've got glitter vinyl and it adjusts its blade accordingly. I think that's pretty awesome. It's also whisper quiet. So if I want to craft at three in the morning, which I often do, I'm not gonna wake anyone up. Again, a big plus for me. Um, I really love that feature. I love the scanning feature. The software tracing is great. I do have a few frustrations in the software, but I know there are bugs that are being worked out. Um, there are not as many images available for the scan and cut as for the maker. If you're not a stamper and you want tons and tons of images then the maker might be a better choice for you um, but they are really the kind of the key differences between the two machines now i'm going to place in the description below links to both machines you'll also want to hop to the hedgehoghollow.com again in that description there'll be a blog post that has this video embedded now when you hop over there it'll say do you want to sign up to the hedgehog hollow newsletter if you click yes every friday we send out deals and steals and if these two machines are on sale and you're looking to purchase some of these machines, you'll find out every Friday if they're on sale. We also have a Crafty Sales Facebook page where if any of these machines or any other Crafty Sales are going on, we post those in there as well. So you can find out if these machines go on sale because they, realistically, these are pricey machines. So if you can save a little bit on the machine or maybe get an extra accessory thrown in, then again, you can do that as well. The Cricut can cut more materials than the DX. So if you want to cut things like wood and things like that, then again the Cricut but then the DX can cut foam it can cut thick paper it can't cut the chipboard it can't cut the wood but pretty much everything else it can cut it also has a vinyl roll feeder which I really like so you've got matless cutting with your uh, DX and vinyl you also have an embossing kit and you have a foiling kit which I just did a TV show for which is flipping amazing um, I can't wait to show you how that works um, so anyway that's my opinions, that's the overview. I love both machines um, and they are my reasons for purchasing either one. I love both, I think I need both, that's my rationale. I'm telling Greg I need both, that's why I have both. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me at Hedgehog Hollow. Do give us a thumbs up if you found this review useful. As I say, if, you, if I get lots of questions on the same subject, I try to do a video to address them so that you can just hop on and find that video and hopefully you found it useful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell because if you haven't heard, we're the official media partner for Creativation 2019. So not only do you get fun and interesting content like this, you get lots of inspiration and tutorials, but also before, during and after Creativation, you'll have lots and lots of content and will be first on the show floor behind the scenes and lots of exclusive content as well. So check that out too. And I will see you very, very soon. Happy stamping everyone. Bye.